for interest sake, we created uh, a pickup truck version of the Tesla Semi. At the Tesla Semi unveiling, Elon Musk talked a little bit about the pickup truck. And it seemed almost like a joke, but it turns out that Elon Musk is actually serious about making this pickup truck. This is what you should know about the pickup truck. It's a pickup truck that can carry a pickup truck. <laughs> I actually don't think it's so, going to be as big no. as he says right here. I think this is the joke of the pickup truck. But I believe it's going to be about the same size as the Ford no. By the way, this is, you, you can truck. legally drive I that. <laughs> uh, it shouldn't be legal, but... Um, <laughs> Um, you will actually be able to legally drive that with a normal driver's license. This is quite an interesting segment to get into because people love their pickup trucks. It's a hardcore segment that really sticks to brands. So getting into this market could be a great thing for Tesla. But the Ford, for example, has such a, a large market share of pickup trucks that this is going to be a very tough segment for Tesla to get into. So from some tweets that Elon Musk has been writing, he mentioned that I will promise that we'll make a pickup truck right after the Model Y, which is a SUV version, a small SUV of the Tesla brand. So they have the core design engineering elements in his head, for almost five years and he's dying to build. I guess he wasn't joking after all, which is pretty amazing because I think this could be a really big thing for Tesla. And so according to Elon Musk's tweet, he basically thinks it's going to be a little bit bigger than the Ford F-150. And it seems like Tesla does go overboard a little bit with size and acceleration and power. So I think they do want to crush the f-150 in you know spec sheets at least there is one thing that a lot of people don't like is that you know the um, f-150s are used for work a lot of times and a lot of people who buy f-150s do use them for construction where they see a lot of abuse and i think they might shy away from electric trucks based on this but i don't think it's really a a major deal because a lot of people also who buy F-150s spend over $50,000 for the truck. There's some very high-end trim levels of for the F-150s that, you know, and people don't use those for work. Only after, you know, 10 years, they get sold again on the market and they get to actually see, you know, a construction site or something like that. When you look at the uh, market for Ford, for example, Ford F-150 sell so many of them. And according to figures from AutoData, Toyota, Honda, and Nissan, you know, just between those three, they only take up 14% of the U.S. pickup truck market. So it's a very small market share of the segment. And other foreign um, manufacturers don't even sell pickup trucks in the United States because in 2013, Musk hinted that he wanted to build a truck to compete with the uh, Ford 150. He said, if you're trying to replace the gasoline miles driven, you have to look at what people are buying. He said in November 2013, that's the best selling car in America. If people are voting that their car, then that's the car that we have to deliver. He cautioned that it will probably be about five years before Tesla would offer a pickup truck. He said that in November 2013. On another tweet on April 2017, 
Elon Musk said, pickup truck unveil in 18 to 24 months. And that's very quickly. Pickup trucks are a significant amount of the market share for automobiles in the United States. Americans love trucks. Because of the importance of pickup trucks to the economy, trucks are kind of sort of protected class of vehicles. And emission regulations stiffened on cars during the 70s, trucks were held to laxer standards. Even when you go to the uh, car lots, they really don't post the MPGs very often because they don't have to. Now imagine a, an electric pickup truck that gets 100 MPGE or close to it. That's going to be an amazing amount of savings that pickup truck owners will have. And Tesla is also an American-made company. And a lot of people who buy pickup trucks like to brag about that their pickup truck is an American pickup truck. So what's more American than buying a new pickup truck from a new American company? Pickup trucks in America are not just used as work vehicles. They're used as passenger vehicles because they have extended cabs, for example. So they can do double duty. They can be used as a car for commuting, as that's the case for a lot of people, which sounds very dumb because they get such bad gas mileage. But if you only have one car, having a pickup truck is a pretty good idea. In order for the Tesla pickup truck to be successful, it really has to beat 4GM and RAM. And that means that it needs to have a V8-like performance. And I think Tesla will do that because it's known for having a lot of power off the line. <clears throat> it needs to have extended cabs or four-door cab offerings. It needs to have a cargo bed that's uh, over like seven feet or, you know, 5.5 feet with the option of seven feet. It has to be able to tow over 10,000 pounds. The payload capacity has to be half ton to 3,000 pounds. It needs to have 4x4 capability. The driving range under load at least 200 miles. Conventional styling and appeal, that's uh, to be argued, but I believe something like the Honda Ridgeline would do very well as an electric pickup truck for Tesla. One of the challenges that the Tesla pickup truck will have is, for example, if it's going to tow a trailer that's about 7,000 pounds or more, it would require a lot of energy to do so. And if you're going to trailer to a place and then you have horses and you like go ride the horses and you get back in the truck, you want to make sure that you can pull the trailer back to your house. And that's a challenge that the Tesla engineers will have in building this pickup truck. It needs to have enough range under load to achieve at least One thing to remember is that Toyota Tundra range. and the Nissan Titan have not done very well in America, and they've been here for quite some time. So if the Tesla wants to compete in this segment, it's really going to have to put down a lot of great features. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you see, please subscribe.